Right, DMR then. I did a video the other day about uh, D-Star versus FM. I came to the conclusion that D-Star would break up before FM under weak signal conditions and that because nobody was using it in my area and there were no contacts, I came to the uh, rather unfortunate conclusion that D-Star is a complete and utter waste of time and money. Possibly upset a couple of people, but uh, it was honest. So let's put DMR under the same microscope. Now, DMR is a slightly different kettle of fish. It's a uh, commercial system. Um, it's slightly newer than D-Star. Uh, D-Star came out first, and um, it's it's a bit more refined than D-Star. Let's put it that way. Um, the problem with it is it's, like I said, it's designed as a commercial system, which we've kind of... Uh, twisted and butchered to work in the amateur realms which isn't a total disaster and I'll be honest I actually like D-Star so what are we going to do then well let's set down a ground rule first of all as with D-Star I did not want to use a dongle to access the internet because uh, frankly if I'm going to do that I might as well just use Zello so I don't mind I like the idea of the repeaters being linked together so they can cover a large area, so that's a good system. But what we're going to test today is simplex links from point to point. So, similar test to last time, I've got a uh, radio connected to my uh, aerial on the roof of the house. Um, this time we're just using a handheld, it's a DP3400 we're going to use today. Um, I haven't got any base stations like I used for uh, D-Star, so it's got to be a handheld, I'm afraid. And uh, I've got one that's set on a scan there on same frequency. It just scans between FM and uh, DMR, and it'll switch depending on which signal it picks up. So that's the setup here at the base. And then um, I'm going to take this handheld out with me. We'll try both low and high power from... Uh, various locations and uh, basically the idea is I want to get to that point where it starts to break up like I did with the D-Star and um, see which gives out first. Will it be FM or will it be DMR? So let's take a drive in the car and uh, let's find out. So this is the first location I wanted to test then. Uh, it's not far, it's only about maybe half a mile down the road so it should be quite a strong signal but uh, I just wanted to give ourselves a little bit of a benchmark. So I've got my handheld set to half a watt and uh, we're going to put out a call first of all on uh, FM and then we'll uh, try DMR. So here we go. Test transmission one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. This is from the first location and this is on FM, uh, 0.5 watt FM analog. Right, let's go digital. And this is a test transmission on digital from location one using DMR, 0.5 watts, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, test transmission. Okay, let's move on to the next location. Okay, so this is our second location. Last time I tested from here for the D-Star video, the signal was starting to get a bit scratchy, but it was still a good readable signal. So uh, the first signal should have been absolutely rock solid. This one will be starting to get a bit scratchy, and then we'll uh, move on to the third location, which was the point where it, where D-Star broke up the last time. So uh, here we go, from location two then, again, half a watt on uh, handheld, and we'll start off with analog. Test transmission, one, two, three, four, five. Five four three two one. This is from location two on uh, FM analog. Test transmission one two three four five five four three two one. And then uh, let's go on to digital DMR. Here we go. Test transmission one two three four five five four three two one. This is a test transmission from location two on digital DMR. Again, half a watt. Okay, and uh, what I'm going to do is, I've got uh, Asia in the back here. I'm going to uh, take her for a quick walk and then we'll uh, 
move on to the uh, third and final location. Okay, so we're at our third location then, and uh, I know from experience that getting a signal back to my house from here on just a handheld is a bit hit and miss, which is good, because that's what we want. We want to test this under weak signal conditions. But what I'm going to do is just to make absolutely certain that we do get a signal through on at least one of our tests, I'm going to do low power from handheld only as I did from the other locations. I'm also going to do high power, 5 watts, and uh, I'm also going to run low power on a mag mount. I've got a uh, mag mount antenna on the roof as well. So th those are the three tests we're going to do, and uh, that should give us at least uh, some workable data. So uh, here we go. Let's start with um, high power uh, analog. So get the right channel. Five watts analog. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Testing. And then uh, we go high power DMR. And this is uh, high power test transmission on the DMR. Five watts test transmission. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Testing. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, go low power, and again we'll start off on analog. Test transmission, handheld only, half a watt. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. So this is half a watt, analog, handheld only. And let's uh, go on to UHF, uh, sorry, on to uh, digital. Okay, and then what we're going to do, I'm just going to uh, unscrew that antenna. And uh, I've got an adapter here with a BNC on it. So I'll just screw my uh, BNC in the top of the radio there. And uh, hook it up to uh, the area on the roof of the car. Just a little BNC plug there. Make sure it's in tight, it's a good connection. And right. So we start off back on analog. So this is half a watt on analog, but this time we're going through the antenna on the roof of the car. Test transmission one two three four five five four three two one. Testing this is uh, low power analog FM through the mag mount on the roof of the car. And then uh, let's switch to digital, and uh, one quick final test transmission on digital. Test transmission on digital DMR, half a watt through the uh, mag mount antenna on the roof. Testing, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Testing. Right. Now, you will see the video at home, so you'll already know the results of that. I won't know until I get home. So, uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get back on the road, head home, and we'll go and see what the results are. Just a quick side note, because uh, somebody's probably going to uh, pick up on it and comment that I didn't give my uh, call sign in any of the test transmissions. Um, I'm actually not using amateur radio frequencies for this. I'm uh, using privately licensed uh, PMR channels, which I do have a license for. So uh, that's why I didn't give my uh, station ident, because uh, legally it's, uh, it's not required. Right, well, I've just got home and had a chance to uh, listen to the uh, audio recordings from the radio which I had set up here on the uh, base antenna. And uh, the results were possibly a little surprising, actually. Now, location one and two, they were more of a benchmark, really. We knew that both modes were going to get through from there, so that was just uh, to give us a bit of a benchmark, really. Uh, location three is where we're going to draw our conclusions from. Now, high power, both modes got through. FM was a bit scratchy, but both FM and uh, DMR were perfectly usable. So, 
for me, my preference, if I was having an extended uh, QSO, a bit of a chin wag on the, with a local station in the evening, I'd probably actually choose uh, DMR there over FM just for the uh, clear audio and uh, lack of hiss from or static from the FM. So uh, a little bit easier on the ear. So to me, I think DMR takes it there. Now, the next test I did was half a watt on the uh, standard rubber antenna. And uh, that gave me a little bit of a surprise. The uh, FM signal broke up, I think it was twice in that transmission. Whereas the uh, DMR was crystal clear all the way through. It didn't break up at all. So on from that, I'm concluding that uh, FM will actually break up slightly before DMR although I have to say there isn't an awful lot in it there really isn't much difference at all um, the big shocker was um, when I ran half a watt into the uh, mag mount antenna on the roof of the car and uh, neither signal got through on that we, we got the odd word of DMR and we got the odd word of FM but fundamentally neither mode was usable there so uh, I think the conclusion I'm coming to is that DMR will hold it out slightly further into the noise, but not much. Um, and my mag mount antenna on the roof of my car is frankly absolute crap. So earlier on, I made a brief reference to Asia, so you might as well meet her. This is Asia, she's my uh, station security manager and uh, her job is to bite anybody that touches my radio equipment without my permission. You're not convinced, are you? See, she may seem very placid, but she's actually uh, actually quite vicious. She's uh, like a coiled spring ready to pounce, aren't you, Asia? Hey, what's this? What's this? There you go. See, look at those nasty teeth. Excellent security dog, aren't you? Hey, excellent guard dog. Good girl. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you like what I do, please click the thumbs up button. It lets me know that I'm heading in the right direction with the channel and gives me the confidence to keep doing what I'm doing. Don't forget to click the subscribe and also the bell button to be notified when I upload new content. If you don't like what I'm doing, feel free to click the thumbs down button. Just tell me why in the comments below. I welcome your feedback and constructive criticism will help me to improve the channel. Take care and I hope you will catch me in the next video.